Again, Part C uses the Part A information. So if you made a mistake on Part A, you still qualify for full credit on Part C. And Part C is saying, I want to figure out the approximation for h of 1. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to figure out what h of 1 is. Well, h of 1 would be the integral from 0 to 1 of f of t dt. But instead of f of t, I'm going to use my information from part 1. So I'm going to do the integral from 0 to 1 of 3 minus 2t plus 3 halves t squared minus 23 twelfths t cubed dt. And then I'm going to do antiderivatives for that. figure out that answer. So antiderivative of 3 would be 3t, 2, so that would be t squared, And then I'm going to plug in my limits of integration, which are 0 and 1. So I have 3 minus 1 plus 1 half minus 23 over 48, it looks like, minus 0, because whatever I plug in, if I'm plugging in t equals 0, that's all going to be 0. So again, you don't have to do arithmetic, but this would be 2 plus a half minus 23 over 48. If I were really making sure I got my final answer, I would put this into a common fraction. Um, so I would say, well, this is 5 halves. If I turn that into 48, that would be 5 times 24. 120. Minus 23 over 48, so that'd be 97 48 ths There you go. I did the fractions. But again, you don't have to. At this point, it's arithmetic. Before that, it was calculus, so you have to do the calculus. But once you get to that point, it's arithmetic. You don't have to do the arithmetic. This part was graded as two points, one point for the correct antiderivative. So one point for this correct, some form of that correct. Um, and then the second point is for the correct answer. Um, you can't have the correct answer if you don't have the correct antiderivative. So the second point is dependent on having already earned that first point. Um, and just to emphasize, your correct answer doesn't have to look like 97 over 48. It just has to be equivalent to 97 over 48.